I'm a part of Fort Wayne now, permanently. I've been the uh, all-time leading scorer. It's a cool accomplishment. It's something that I'll probably appreciate, um, you know, when my playing days are over. A lot of hard work. Um, I credit a lot of my teammates. Um, I've had some great teammates. I've had great coaches that put me in position to uh, to be successful. But I'm not much of a, a verbal leader. I'm not always down everyone's back or anything like that. But um, I have subtle ways that uh, I like to um, help out. Our fans have been loyal since day one. Our well, fans are huge. If you do something that momentum, a dunk, or anything like that, the fans go crazy, and um, that helps us out. Uh, I've been with the Mad Ants for about a month now. It's my third year with the Mad Ants. With the Mad Ants for six seasons, I believe. This is my first season. I mean, having a fan base like the Mad Ants do really helps us. You know, whether it's a close game. They really give us a lot of energy. The fans here are they're great. They, they've gotten better over the last three years. I mean, I, I love them. Even out, out in the community, the fans are always saying, hey, good job, good job, giving me high fives at the stores and stuff. Fort Wayne is a great community to raise a family. I have two children uh, of my own. The people are so warm and, and inviting. You know, everyone speaks when you, when you walk past someone. So it was special. In front of our fans, uh, winning the, the number one record outright in the D-League and getting the number one seed. Our first half focus was uh, the best I've, I've seen of our group. And, and then we ran out of the gas a little bit um, in the second half. Man, uh, I mean, we, we definitely blew that lead there. Um, but I mean, it's hard. It's hard to keep leads, I think. I think it's harder to play when you're up like that than when you're down like that. You're just stressed out. <laughs> you know, you just, you know, you're stressed out. Everything's working for them, nothing's working for you. Luckily, we have a, a veteran team. We've been through a lot of different, you know, things throughout the year and throughout our careers that we were able to, you know, continue to fight and still have, you know, a little left to uh, push us over the hump. And that's what's, you know, for me is makes me the most proud of the success we're having this year because, you know, they they're getting to to really see it and really be excited and really have something to cheer for um, and to know they were there for us, you know, uh, those down years. So, and uh, so they deserve, you know, what what we're doing now and. Um, this is the way our, our basketball team should perform for this city and uh, we're trying to do everything we can to keep this going for years to come.